a young man who knows no fear. Manny's parents separated at a young age, and his mother Dionysia bore the burden of providing for her six children, two of them by a previous marriage. She ran a small Sari Sari store, and her kids, including Manny, helped supplement their meager income by selling pandesal in the neighborhood. Manny was a good student, but his mother noticed that when he was in grade five, he was getting interested in boxing. This upset her because she was hoping he would become a priest. But Manny knew there was no way his mother could pay for an education, and he made up his mind that his best chance would be to become a boxer. Dionysia relented. I ultimately relented because I knew he was right about us being poor. I can sense his keen interest in boxing. He would wake us up at dawn and jog on his own to the plaza or the basketball court nearby. Then he'd start jabbing or punching the air. At that time, Abner Cordero was a promising young amateur fighter from General Santo City, who made a name for himself battling boxers from the national team. Abner was trained by his father, Dizon Cordero. After watching one of Abner's fights, Manny approached Dizon and asked him to train him, just like he trained his son. Sensing his interest, I took him in. I was also glad to have Manny on board because I thought with Manny around, Abner would not slacken in his training. We would regularly train in my small house. I treated him as if he was one of my sons. I remember Manny at that time had no shoes. All he had was a pair of worn-out rubber slippers with holes. I was also poor then. His poverty was not a drawback for Manny Pacquiao. It was his inspiration. He jogged barefooted at times, shadow-boxed in a sandlot but never complained. After one month of training, Dizon Cordero figured Manny was ready for his first bout. They traveled to Sarangani province for the fight. Dizon didn't know what to expect. Manny stunned him with a spectacular showing. He KO'd his opponent in the first round. I was so thrilled, so happy to see all my efforts in training him and his dedication bearing fruit. Under Dizon Cordero, Manny fought more than 30 times without losing a bout. He was that good because Dizon's philosophy was developing a power punch as the ultimate weapon. Soon, Manny left for Manila to try his luck. In a letter to his mother, Manny asked her not to worry about him, pointing out that he was surviving despite everything. He wrote, life is also difficult here. There are times when I eat rice only once a day. Dionysia was deeply touched by her son's letter. I wept when I read his words. I wrote back and told him to persevere and bid his time. I implored him to be a good boy always and to pray. Since then, we were writing each other regularly. In one of his letters, I remember a happy one. This was before he became a professional boxer. He said he was doing fine and he had some good news. He found a job in a scrap metal factory somewhere in Taguig. He worked by scraping the rusts out of the recycled metals. Now I can eat three times a day. I eat in a nearby Karinderia. I can eat real food now because I have a salary to pay for it. He was earning 160 pesos a day. Soon after, he wrote again. This time, even bigger news. Ma, thanks be to God, somebody took me in as a boxer and I'm training and fighting again. I'm in a boxing show on TV. It's called Blow by Blow. He was going to call me long distance. When I finally got to talk to him, he excitedly said, Ma'am, watch my fight on TV tomorrow, December 25, so Blow by Blow. I was so happy to hear his voice. He then told me to call him once a week because he terribly missed me. 
He was still very young then. He got so homesick. He said he was now staying with his tita Hora and that they had a phone. And I can now call and talk to him. Dionysia had no TV in their home. She had to go to a downtown appliance store with her other son to watch Manny fight on blow by blow. She was scared, but Manny won in three rounds. His mother was so thrilled and so proud. In June 1996, Manny returned to his hometown for a fight against Bert Batilier, more than one year after he began his pro career. This time, when he left, Dionysia wasn't so worried because Manny took along his neighbor and friend, Buboy Fernandez, to act as trainer and buddy. Manny's first two fights were four rounders held in Mindoro Occidental. He won them both on points. He then won a six-rounder against undefeated Rocky Palma in Cavite before making his debut on the weekly boxing show Blow by Blow against Del Desierto on July 1, 1995. Boxing has definitely come back in a big way. Yes, definitely. Now we've had uh, some downs. Gaya po nung nangyari nung lumaban si Morris East. That is a black Asuma. mark. Oh, pero after that, eh, mga kaibigan, it looks like we still have enough talent in our pro ranks to sustain the interest. Ito po si Pacquiao, now That's on the right. attack. Wow! Pacquiao on the attack, na, na solid po niya kanina, si uh, Desierto. Desierto also fighting back, and but Desierto now aiming at the midsection of Pacquiao. Ayun, left! Dalawang sunod! Natamaan si Desierto, but he was able to come back. He is trying to come back. And again, a combination from Pacquiao. And he sends the Sherto reading against the ropes. The Sherto is back in the corner. He's That's trapped. Right. The Sherto fighting able, out of the corner. That's right. He was able to, he didn't uh, stop fighting. He was stunned there. Yes. He was not hurt so much. He was able to fight back. Well, Pacquiao is using that right hand now as a measuring device. But he has been able to connect with his left. Yes. The Sherto also connected that time with an uppercut. And the fast and furious action from both these youngsters. Uh, and there's another oh, left. Yes. To the left to the jaw of the yeah. A right, right this time. Yes. The Sherto doesn't know how to take a punch. He doesn't uh, fall into his own opponent. He doesn't clinch. He doesn't cover up. Well, Pacquiao has been able to really pinpoint his target here in this round. That's right. And the Sherto trying to come back to score on his own. Medyo nanghina ng konte, no? Talagang uh, ininda niya po yung uh, dalawa, tatlong solid punches na tinamaan na tumama sa kanya. The crowd egging on Pacquiao. Enjoying the action now. That's Pacquiao right. has been able to land that left repeatedly. Kasi bumababa yung kanan ng kamay ni ano eh, ni Desierto. Kanya, Maganda so far ang timing oh, ni Pacquiao. Oh, very, very well timed yung kanyang uh, kaliwa. Although Desierto that time connected with a nice right hand. Good, good fight between these two boxers. Maganda. Sabayan, palitan. Oh, actually, may, may parang masamang bisyo ito si Pacquiao because he has a tendency to bring down his right arm. Pero ito si Desierto has not been able to take advantage of that. He should score with a left hook. Oi! Umayaw na! Umayaw! Umayaw! Umayaw bigla! Umayaw bigla! Umayaw si Dele Desierto. Sabi na ayaw na niya. The accumulation of the punches. Hindi man lang bumagsak ito si Desierto. Yes, hindi. Pero nasaktan na siyang masyado sa gulpi sa katawan at sa muka. Hindi na niya kaya mga kaibigan. That's a surprise! A big, big surprise! He just turned his back on his opponent. Hardly one month later, Pacquiao 